Hey guys, today I'm gonna be trying out, I've had this in my cupboard forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it. It is the sugar-free quick bread and muffin mix. This is the deluxe cinnamon swirl. Um, just this box itself with, I'm gonna replace the oil for applesauce. If you do 14 servings, it comes out to three points per serving. Um, I am going to be using uh, mini muffin pan, so I'm not sure how many servings I will have yet But by the end of this video we will all know So I'm also going to add some banana because I thought it would be yummy so this recipe calls for Three-fourths cup of water. So I have that here ready to go And then it calls for one-third cup of oil. I'm going to be using applesauce and I'm actually going to add a little bit extra. So I have a little bit extra on the side. Um, it also calls for two eggs. And then you're gonna mix that in with the big white packet. It also comes with the second packet of the cinnamon like swirl, I guess. And I've already split that into two, I used a scale. So I'm gonna split that into two because you're gonna put half of it in the center of the muffin and then the other half on top. You wanna to go ahead and start by preheating your oven to 375. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to actually mash my banana first. These are some nice bananas. Perfect, perfect to eat right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mash these up. So that looks good. Okay, next I'm going to add in the large white packet of the muffin mix. Then I'm going to add in the three-fourths cup of water. I'm going to add in, it calls for one third cup of oil. I'm replacing it with the applesauce. This is unsweetened for zero point. And like I mentioned, I'm going to just add a little bit extra. So I find that when you replace applesauce for oil, it tends to need a little more. So I'm going to assume that's the same in this recipe. I'm going to add the two eggs. And because I am not a baker, I don't have a professional mixer. I'm gonna just do it by hand. This is my professional mixer. <laughs> so I'm just going to completely beat this up until it's blended. Mm, it smells good already, you guys. So this will probably take about one to two minutes just to get it nice and mixed together. So I'll be right back um, once it's ready. So I'm going to be filling up the muffin tray and I coated it with the coconut oil spray. And I'm going to just be using this 1 4th cup as a guide. So what the recipe kind of says to do is to fill up the bottom half with the mix and then you're going to sprinkle some of this on there and I'm gonna try and weigh it out evenly. And then you're gonna put some more of the mix and then sprinkle on the top. So let me go ahead and start filling these and I'll come back to you guys. I also did wanna mention, I am using the 1 4th cup but I'm not filling it all the way. I'm going just about a little over a half of the, like, so it's not completely full. I don't know if you can see that but not full to the brim. So that's gonna be my bottom layer. And I'm just using it, like I said, as a guide so that they can all be even. Okay, so now that I have all of my um, batter in, I have another tray behind me. Um, I'm doing a total of 20 of these muffins. So they're gonna end up being two points a piece. And um, what I'm gonna do is put about one teaspoon of this cinnamon mix into each one on top. So you just wanna sprinkle it on top of each one. So one teaspoon 
is gonna be half of the mix that came with the box. And then at the end, I'll sprinkle one more teaspoon on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and then I will be back. Okay guys, so I have added the one teaspoon of the like little cinnamon mix that comes in the box um, into the middle of the muffin. So now I'm going to use the rest of this mix and split it evenly across the 20 portions that I have. So I have 12 here and eight more here, which makes a total of 20. And you can kind of see how this cinnamon is just gonna be in the middle there. So now I'm probably, I'm just trying to keep this as even as possible, you guys. So you can use any kind of like measuring stick or something that you want to use. Also, you can see I had just a touch of the cinnamon left over by using one teaspoon in each, but that's totally fine. I'm not gonna try and add it all, it's fine. So now I'm going to just add another spoonful on the top of each one of these. So I'm basically just going to carefully cover the tops of each one and then I will come back to you guys when I'm finished okay guys so now that I've gotten um, the mix down the cinnamon in the middle and then the rest of the mix evenly spread out I'm sorry I don't have an exact like measurement I had to totally eyeball it and um, pray to the baking gods that I had enough to spread it to 20 muffins and I just barely had enough. So you gotta kinda just eyeball it and measure it out the best you can. I just did a little spoon at a time and then went back until it was even. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to use the last of this mix and I'm going to, once again, just put one teaspoon of it on the top and then they'll be ready to go in the oven. So just one teaspoon sprinkled on top be ready to go in the oven and then I'll come back to you um, once they're finished and these will be two points a piece banana cinnamon muffins sugar-free and they sound yummy and they smell delicious so I'll be back Okay, everyone so these are ready to go in the oven I had the oven preheating at 375 um, the box doesn't really give you an option for like a muffin pan it's just more of loaves so I'm going to just start it at 20 minutes and just keep checking it from there. I will let you know how much time I end up baking mine. Okay, so I just pulled them out. I actually went ahead and checked them at 22 minutes and the toothpick is coming out dry. So I'm going to just go with it and um, I will let you know how they are. <laughs> so this is 22 minutes. I made 20 of the cinnamon muffin mix and I added banana and these are all two points a piece. 